Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Matt Krasuki. I'm the Senior Medical Director for Dr. Crono, and this video was designed as the first in a series of videos to help you pocket money courtesy the US government. The first question and most important question to ask yourself is are you eligible for the Medicare and Medicaid EHR incentive programs? A Medicaid eligible professional may also qualify for the Medicare incentive but a professional who qualifies for both pro programs may only participate in one program. Those who qualify for them under the Medicare or Medicaid will maximize their payments by choosing the Medicaid program. So there's a series of questions to ask yourself. The first is this. Did you perform 90% of your services in an inpatient hospital or emergency room hospital setting? And before we go through this, I'll just let you know that by the end of this video, you will know whether you're eligible or not, because we will go through every scenario possible. So let's say no for this, where at least 30% of your services furnished to Medicaid patients. We'll say no to this. Did you practice predominantly in a FQHC or RHC with a 30% needy individual patient volume threshold? Let's say no to this for right now. Do you treat Medicare patients and bill for Part B services on their schedule? If you answer yes, and you are any of these, you do qualify for eligibility. Now let's go back and go through each scenario. And let's say once again here that no, you do not work in this service setting, that you do not bill for at least 30% through Medicaid and that you also do not practice in one of these centers and that you do not treat Medicare patients. In that case you are not eligible to receive the incentive program. Let's go back once again to the beginning and let's look at the situation in which you do not perform in this setting you do not see at least 30% of Medicaid patients in your practice, and you do work in an FQHC or RHC. In that case, if you're any of these, you do qualify for the incentive. If you are not any of these, you do not qualify for the incentive program. Let's go back once again to the beginning, and we'll put no for this service setting and we'll put yes, at least 30% of our services were furnished to Medicaid patients. In that case, if you are any of these, you do qualify for eligibility, and if you do not, you do not qualify for eligibility. Now the very last possibility is yes, you do perform 90% of your services in an inpatient hospital or ER setting. If that is the case, then you do not qualify for eligibility for the incentive program. Here's a flow chart of exactly what we just went through. 